Hello friends, it's Shelly from Koala Knits and Knacks. Thank you so much for clicking on this tutorial. We are going to spend some time together and make this beautiful summer hat, a bucket hat. Um, I love it like this. This You can put a, a ribbon in it like this one or you can uh, leave the ribbon out, but it looks nice on the side and it looks nice in the back. So some options for you with this um, particular hat. I used a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. Yarn Inspirations Karen Coconut Cakes in the colorway licorice now this is a medium four weight yarn 78 percent cotton and 22 polyester so it's a perfect blend for a summer hat um, the each um cake has 227 grams 440 meters and we use about a third of it so there's lots left to make other projects or more hats yay <laughs> so thanks again for joining me don't forget to hit that like. I'd appreciate it very much, the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, would you please do that as well? Uh, I would appreciate that so much. When you do those two things, then um, YouTube recognizes that this is being watched and it will circulate it to a wider audience. So if you would help me out in that way, I'd appreciate it so much. Um, please come on over and join my Facebook group. The link will be in the description box below. So friends, once you have your supplies ready, let's get started. I hope you enjoy uh, making one of these bucket hats. All right, so to begin this project, we are going to take our yarn, we're gonna put a slip knot and onto our hook. From there, we are going to chain up three. Yarn over, pull it through that loop that's on your hook. That's one, two, and three. We have three chains that we have made. We're gonna go into that third chain from the hook. So one, two, three, and we're going to do a half double crochet. So you're gonna yarn over, you're gonna go into that stitch, or that chain, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have three loops now on your hook. Yarn over and go through all three loops. That's your first half double crochet. Now you're gonna take your stitch marker, which for me is always a bobby pin, and you're gonna pop it in that stitch, just so you can easily find it later when we're joining our row, okay? Then from there, we are going to go back into that same space, and we're going to do another half double crochet. We're gonna do 10 all together into that space, yarn over, pull up a loop. We've got three loops on our hook, yarn over, go through all three. That's two half double crochets. We're gonna yarn over, go back into that space, yarn over, pull up a loop. We've got three loops on our hook, yarn over, go through all three. This is a little bit, a little bit uh, funny to work with. That's three but you'll get the hang, it just takes the feel. And once you get the feel, feel of it, and once we, our piece gets a little bit bigger, then it'll be no problem at all. Yarn over, into that loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through all three. We're gonna do this 10 times. And this knot keeps, uh, it'll, it'll keep slipping and give you a bigger hole, so if you wanna just hold that knot there, um, it won't continue to get bigger on you, okay? We're gonna just keep going, just like this, until we have 10 half double crochets in that stitch, okay? Keep going, I'll see you when you have 10. This is eight for me, and nine, and 10. So we've made 10 half double crochets. We're gonna pull that yarn tail just to tighten that circle. There you go. And now we're gonna we're going to hide this tail as we go, but we're gonna take where our stitch marker is. That's first stitch that we had right there. See, if you pull up on it on that bobby pin, if you need to, you can get right into that stitch, just like that. I can take it out now. You're gonna yarn over, pull it through that stitch, and pull it through the loop that's on your hook. That was a slip stitch to join. Now my thumb is right where that same stitch is. That same exact one that we just went into is where we're going to work, but we're gonna chain up two. Does not count as a half double crochet. Then we're gonna half double crochet into that same space. That's one and one more. Two of them into that same chain space, that same stitch. Now I'm gonna take my stitch marker and I'm gonna, here's one and here's two. So that was the first one that I did. I'm gonna pop my stitch marker in there so I can easily find it later. And I'm gonna continue around, taking my tail with me. So I'm gonna put the tail right on the ridge there. I'm gonna yarn over into that next stitch. I'm gonna pop my, my hook, then make sure this yarn tail is over top of your hook. You're gonna go ahead, yarn over, drop a loop. You've got three loops on your hook. 
yarn over, pull through all three. And you're going to do that one more time in the same stitch. Yarn over, draw a pull loop, yarn over, go through all three. We've done two half double crochets in that first stitch. We've done two half double crochets in that second. We are going to do two half double crochets in each stitch around and we will end with a total of 20 half double crochets. Let me do one more set with you. Yarn over, go into that next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You've got three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, or pull through all three, sorry. <laughs> then you're going to yarn over, go into that same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. You've got three loops on your hook, yarn over, go through all three. We've just placed two half double crochets into that stitch. Now we have six, two, four, six. We're going to keep going around until we have 20 in total. I'm near the end here. I have one more stitch to work in. I'm going to yarn over. This is 19. And this is 20. We're going to find our stitch marker, which is right there. We're going to insert our hook into that stitch. First stitch, pull out the stitch marker, yarn over, bring it through that stitch and through the loop on your hook, just completing row two. From there, we're going to chain up two and we're going to do another increase row right into that same space there. We're going to do one half double crochet. And from there, we're going to go into the next stitch and do two half double crochets. One and two. I'm going to mark my first stitch. We've done three already, so I'm going to take my stitch marker, go back three and pop that into there. So for this round, we're going to put one half double crochet in one stitch, two half double crochets in the next. One half double crochet in the next stitch, two half double crochets in the next. And how I always remember this is we know we're on row three, so you just count one, and then into the next stitch, two, and three. Those last two were in the same stitch. One, then into the very next stitch, two, and three. So what we're doing is we're putting one stitch into this next half double crochet and then two half double crochets into that next stitch. So one and then two, one and then two, one and then two, all the way around for round three and we will end with 30 half double crochets in the round. So complete that and I'll see you when you get to the end. All right, so we've completed our 30 half double crochets. We're gonna slip stitch to join where that first stitch is. Right in there. I'm gonna chain up two and we're going to increase for row four. So for row four, we're going to put one half double crochet into that first stitch. one half double crochet into that next stitch and two into the next. Oops. That's a total of four. So one into the next, one, one into the next, so that's two, and two into the next, three, and four. That's how I count it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And two half double crochets into the next. So one half double crochet into the next, one half double crochet into the next, and two half double crochets in the next stitch. 
both into the same stitch. You're going to continue in that pattern all the way around for round four. And when you're done, you should have 40 half double crochets. I'll see you when you get there. Round four is completed. I have 40 half double crochets. I'm going to slip stitch to join into that first stitch. I'm going to chain two, which does not count as a half double crochet. And then I'm going to begin row five. One half double crochet into that stitch. One half double crochet into the next stitch. One half double crochet into the next stitch and then two in the next. Two half double crochets into that very next stitch. So you see the patterning here. I'm gonna just stop and show you here. Into that first stitch, we do one. Into the next stitch, we do one. Into the next stitch, we do one. And into the next stitch, we do two. So one, two, three, four, five. We're on row five. So we're going to do that into the next set. I'm gonna just show you one more time. One, one stitch in the, one half double crochet in that next stitch, one in the next, that's two, one in the next, that's three, and two in the very next, four, and five. Both of those half double crochets went into the same stitch. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. You're going to continue that all the way around to the end of the row and you'll end up with 50 half double crochets in row five. All right, so there we have five rounds done. One, two, three, four, five. We are going to continue increasing till we've done eight rows of increase. So in round six, you're going to slip stitch into that first stitch. You're going to chain two then you are going to put one half double crochet in that same space, one in the next, one in the next, one in the next, that's four all together, and then two in the next. So one, two, three, four, and then two in the next makes six. Then one in the next, one in the next, one in the next, one in the next. So one in each of four stitches, and then two in the next. All right, does that make sense? So one, two, three, four stitches with one half double crochet. And in the fifth stitch, you'll do two and that will equal six. We're on row six. Then when you get to the end of row six, you should have 60 half double crochets. From there, you're going to join to that first half double crochet, chain two, and then into that same half double crochet, you're gonna do one half double crochet. And you're gonna do one in each of the next five and then two in the next to make seven. One in each of the next five, two in the next, and that will make seven. That's round seven. And when you get to the end, you'll have 70 half double crochets. Now then we're going to do one more increase. You're gonna slip stitch into your first half double crochet, chain two, then you're going to half double crochet into that first stitch. Then you're gonna put a half double crochet into the next five. So that's six all together and then into the very next stitch, which is the seventh stitch, you're going to do two. So that'd be seven and eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is round eight. And at the end of round eight, we are going to have 80 half double crochets. All right, friends, so keep increasing. We've got one, two, three, four, five. We're going to start six, then seven, then eight. If you lose track of how to do it, come back and, and listen to this video and, and, and go through each, um, each row with me so that you get it accurate, okay? And when you get to the end of your eighth row increase, I will see you back. There we go. How did that go, friends? Isn't that like beautiful? I love this yarn and it feels glorious. So we're going to join with a slip stitch to that first stitch there we go it's that first half double crochet there we've joined now we're going to chain two and for this next row row nine we're going to do something a little bit different i'm going to just take my hook out here here are our stitches along the top we've been going under both the front and the back loop of every stitch here's the front loop there's the back loop right there 
we've been going underneath both of those stitches. For this row only, we are going to go under the back loop only. Just that one loop. We're not going to pick up the whole thing. We're just going to go under this back loop. This is going to allow us to, if this is the top of our hat, it's going to allow us to begin going down now. So what we're going to do is we are going to We've chained it, we slip stitch to join, we've chained two into that very first stitch, that very same stitch, we're gonna half double crochet in the back loop only. You see, I've just taken that back half, yarn over, bring it through, yarn over, bring through both. That's our first half double crochet of row nine. Into that very next stitch, yarn over, into the back half, that back loop of that stitch, see, I've only got one there, complete your half double crochet into the next one, which we're normally used to doing this. That's both both the front and the back loop. We're gonna go in between that stitch and take just the back loop, half double crochet. Don't forget to mark your, your first half double crochet just so you don't have any trouble finding it when you get to the end. And we are going to half double crochet into the back loop of every stitch all the way around, giving us 80 half double crochets. Not hard to do. And once you get the feel for it, you'll sail through it. Okay, I've got to take some slack out of my ball. I'm finding that I'm getting some knots in this ball. Um, I had to stop for a while and, and untangle a huge knot that was uh, in this yarn. I'm not impressed when that happens, but you know what? You just do it and you get her done and <laughs> you continue on. I just hope it's not going to be throughout the ball, but I think it'll be okay. I think it was just the very center there. But I'm gonna continue around doing a half double crochet into the back loop of every stitch. No increasing in this round. We're gonna just do one half double crochet in the back loop of every stitch until we get all the way around and then we will have 80. Let me just stop here for a second now that I've done a few and show you what we're getting here. So we're getting, you might not be able to see it with black, but you're getting this little ridge here, right along here, which is allowing this to, to go down. You see that? It's just a natural fall and it goes down and we're gonna begin working our, um, our sides. All right, so keep going all the way around till you get 80 half double crochets in the back loop of every stitch. One half double crochet in the back loop of every stitch, giving you 80 in total. I'm just gonna finish up the last one here. And from there, we are going to join to the first one of the row, which is right there. Let me take out my stitch marker. And we're gonna slip stitch to join. We're going to chain two. And then we are going to put a half double crochet in that same stitch and one in every stitch around. But this time you're going through both loops just like what we were always doing now that we've we've made our little um turn so that it bends and it goes down we're now going to start doing it in every stitch picking up the front loop and the back loop of that stitch we're going to make a half double crochet all the way around making sure that you stop to mark your first stitch just like that and when you get to the end of row 10, this is row 10 that we're working on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. When you get to the end of row 10, you are going to join with a slip stitch to the first chain, to the first half double crochet right there, join with a slip stitch, chain two, and then you're going to half double crochet back into that same stitch all the way around. And you're going to complete that process until you do nine more rows. So this is our one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is 10. And you're going to do row 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18, all the same way. So you're going to join to the first half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet into that first chain, same, same space, and one half double crochet all the way around, 80 half double crochets every row for nine rows, row 10 to row 18. Okay, so keep going, friends. I'll, I'll do a couple rows and then I'll pop on, see how you're doing, and uh, and maybe I'll join up at the end and start another row with you. So keep going. We're gonna finish. This is now row 10. We're gonna do row 10, half double crochet, one in every stitch. We're gonna then join with a slip stitch to this first half double crochet, chain two, and we're gonna repeat that same process. We're gonna do that for nine rows. And that will take us to row 18. Have fun, friends. Enjoy the process, and we'll see you when we get there. All right, friends, how's that, go how's that going for you? I have a couple of rows left, but I thought I would stop on, pop on and show you. This is what it's looking like. So we know that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number nine was when we did the back loops only, so row nine is there. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have two more rows to go. So I'm just going to start this row off with you. And by now you've got the the gist of it anyways, but I just thought it'd be fun to pop on and see where you're at. I'm pretending you're all talking back to me. <laughs> I'm going to go into this first stitch here. I, oops, didn't mean to do that. I'm going to join with a slip stitch, just like that. Chain two. I am now beginning row 17. Half double crochet. into that one and to every other one around. Isn't this fun? I love this yarn. It's like 78% cotton, I think it is. Let me just double check while we while I have you online here. It is 78% cotton and 22% polyester and it feels glorious. I love it. You know what? I'm on row um, 17. I've hardly made a dent in the ball. So that's the nice thing about it, too. There's so much yarn yarn in this ball. So I'm going to keep going. I just wanted to pop on say hi. <laughs> We're going to do 80 half double crochets in row 17. And then I'm going to do row 18. And then I'm going to see you back and we're going to go on to the next part. How fun is this hat? I hope you're enjoying it, my friends. I'm enjoying it myself, too. So nice to spend time with you. Take care. And we'll see you when you get to the end of row 18. Okay, friends, I finished my 18 rows. Here's where our, here's where, I put it on the mannequin so you can get a better idea, but here's where we did our first um, eight rows of increases. This is where we did into the back loop only, and this is row nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And if it fits like this on your head, then you're ready to begin the uh, brim. If you need to have it longer, then you go ahead and add as many rows as you need to make it fit your head perfectly before Wherever, when you put it on your head, make sure that this section here is where you would want your brim to start. So only you can tell that when you put it on, but this is perfect for my head, um, 18 rows. I'm going to now take it off. I love it just like this. You don't even have to add the brim. You can have enough, this could be your second hat. So two patterns in one. So there you go, friends. But what you're gonna do is you're going to take your, your hook, put it back into your loop, I have already joined row 18. Remember when we went up here and we went into the back loop only so that we could start working down the sides? We're now gonna go into the front loop. So I'm gonna chain, chain two, I've already did my join, chain two, and then into that front loop. So we've got those two loops here. Here's the, this is the stitch that we normally go into. This is the back loop that we went into when we did round row nine. This is the front loop. We are now going to go into the front loop. So I'm going to yarn over, go into that first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through both. That's one half double crochet in the front loop. Yarn over, go into that next front loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, go through all three. So we're gonna still have double crochet, the same what we've been doing, but we're gonna go in the front loop only for this round. Okay, so you keep going all the way around, picking up the front loop of every stitch, 
working your half double crochet all the way around for 80 stitches. I'll see you when you get to the end. I have made it around. I'm going to join to the first one, two, to the first half double crochet with a slip stitch. Then I'm going to chain two. And you know how our last round of increases here was round eight. Okay, so now we're going to increase again. You see how this is starting to curl up already? So you know your brim's going to happen. It's so exciting. We are now going to, so we've done eight rows of increase. One, two, three, four, what? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to do the ninth one. So we're going to just stay in line with that. We're going to keep keep going up as though we were, were doing an increase. So we're going to half double crochet into that same stitch as your join. That's one. And then into the next one, two. And one into the next, three. One into the next, four one into the next five one into the next six remember we're row nine one into the next seven row nine of increases and then so we've done seven half double crochets one into each stitch and we need to count up to nine so now we're going to do two in the next so there we go one half double crochet and into that very same stitch the second and that equals nine. Let's do that again. So one, and into the next stitch, two, into the next stitch, three, next stitch, four, next stitch, five, next stitch, six, next stitch seven and you've got two left and we want to put two into the last stitch uh, to make the increase so we're going to count to nine so we did seven we're going to do two in this next one eight and nine so you're going to do one stitch into each of the next seven Half double crochet, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then two into the very next, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And increase just like what we did before, and when you get to the end, I'll meet you back. Having done your increase, you will now have 90 half double crochets. Okay, so that was an increase row. Now what you're going to do is you're going to join to your first half double crochet, with a slip stitch, chain two. In that same stitch, you're gonna put your first half double crochet. This will be a non-increase row. So you're going to put one half double crochet into every stitch, making 90 half double crochets all around your hat. Taking a stitch marker, one, two, three, popping it in that stitch, I'm going to continue around putting one half double crochet into every stitch and when I get to the end of the round I will have 90 half double crochets in this row. All right so again it's a non-increase row. Go ahead do all 90 half double crochets and then you got it. Meet me back. Alright, so once you have that done, you're going to have 90 stitches around. Now for this next clip, I'm just going to explain it to you because when, when I was videotaping it, um, I hit photo instead of video. And so then when I, when I after the end of the video, when I went to edit all my little clips, my million clips that I put together, um, I re realized that I had hit the photo instead of the video. So I'm going to just explain it to you because it's easy. So for this next increase, you're going to... Um, we're going to increase to 100 stitches so we're going to put we're going to slip stitch to join then we're going to chain our two like what we've been doing we're going to half double crochet into that same base stitch and then you're going to put one in the next stitch so one in that base stitch that's one and then one in the next that's two one in the next that's three one in the next that's four one in the next that's five all the way up 
till eight. So one in the next, that's eight. And then in the next one, you're gonna put two. So then that'd be nine and 10, okay? So one in every stitch up until eight. And then for the next stitch, you're gonna put two, which will give you nine and 10. You're gonna do that all the way around until you get 100 stitches. And then you're gonna slip stitch to join, chain two, and then you're gonna put one half double crochet in every stitch all the way around. Your second row is gonna be a non um, increase row because we always end on a non increase row. So that is how you're going to uh, finish up. I finished my hat and I've got about a, let me see how, how wide is that brim? It's almost a two inch brim. And that's what I like. I'm gonna put it on my sweet model here so you can see what it looks like. Oh, it's so sweet. And that's what it's gonna look like. Her head's a little small, of course. Like this is this is um, a looser fit, but her head, it, the styrofoam heads are a little bit smaller than our normal head because they don't have hair on them, right? So this is how it's gonna look. If you wanna have your brim wider than that, then what you're gonna do is you're going, and because what I did is after I finished my, my row of half double crochets in every stitch around, which is 100, then I, I slip stitch to the beginning, pulled that through, then I yarned over and I pulled it through that loop, tied it off, hid my end. That's what I did. If you want to continue around and make a wider brim, then you'll do another increase row, which means you're going to slip stitch to, slip stitch to join, chain two, then you're going to increase on the 10th stitch. So you're going to do um, one half double crochet in each of every nine stitches for nine stitches, one in each of them for nine. And then in the next one, you're going to do two. So that's 10 and 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then two in the next, 10, 11. And then you'll have 110 stitches when you're done. And you'll be a little bit wider and a little bit longer. And then you're, you're going to finish off with a, um, one row of half double crochet just around the whole thing, with no increases, okay? So if you wanna make your, your brim wider, that's how you do it. And if you wanna go even wider than that, then you would do it, um, you just keep following that sequence, okay? I'm gonna take this hat off. When I was um, in the city today, and I went to Michael's, of course, and I bought some ribbon. I saw this, actually, it was the whole thing was on sale for $2, and I thought, I'm gonna put some ribbon on there. This is um, 5 eighths inches, or 1.5 centimeters, and I already cut off enough that went around my, my hat twice. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your needle, and I'm gonna fold this in half. I, I tried putting it in um, with the full width and I didn't like it, it was too wide. So um, you're gonna fold it in half if you buy it in this width. Then you're gonna start at the back. Here is where our brim starts. You can see where the natural fold is, right here, all these rows. We're gonna go to the row above it. And we're going to, well, here's the natural hole. We're gonna go under two and pull through. And I'm gonna go over two, under two, and pull through. And you're gonna do quite a few, I don't know if this is the right needle for this because I don't wanna break that little plastic end, end on it and I just snagged it, so I'm just gonna rip that off. And you're gonna do a few of them and then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna straighten out your ribbon. Now you can buy a narrower ribbon and you wouldn't have to do this, but I like the looks of this ribbon. So I want to, and I could just have it pull through like that too, but I don't like that. So I'm going to fold it in half just like that as I go. And the more stitches I get in there, all I have to do is fold it on the ends like this and pull and it, and it will automatically do that. And when it's in there for a while, it's gonna just hold that shape. So I'm not worried about that. Um, and I'm gonna just continue around. I'm gonna go over two half double crochets, under two and pull through. I'm gonna do that all the way around, changing my needle because this one clearly is not the right needle for this. There we go. So you'll watch me struggle for a bit, but I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna change that needle. It's just not strong enough. I'm gonna put it on my mitt on, on um, I'll show you what needle I'm gonna use. I'm going to use one of these, these metal ones. It'll pull through better and I'm not gonna risk having this little plastic thing come out of the needle because that does happen. They do pull out and then you, then you have to throw it out. So I'm gonna keep going around going over two, under two, over two, under two, all the way around and I'll see you when I get to the end. All right, friends, there it is. I think it turned out great. 
And look at that, you can put the bow in the back. Now I'm a terrible tire of a bow, but you can uh, master it in, in a better way if you like. Um, make these as long or as short as you want, but uh, you can also move it up to the side. I actually think I like that better. And if you like that better too, and you would have your bow on the side, then make sure your seam is in the back and then start your ribbon on the very, on the actual side. Mind you, you can't see this um, anyway, so it's okay, but if you don't, but uh, if you've already got it in there and you want to leave it that way because you're going to wear it on the side or in the back, then that's fine. But there you go. I think I like the, the ribbon on the side the best. But you know what? You have options because you just have to turn the hat a little bit and it's on the back. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I took it off the mannequin and put it on my head. And of course, the ribbon was too tight because her head is much smaller. So of course, you're going to adjust it to your own head. But it is... Uh, it is very pretty and I'm very, very pleased with it. And I hope you are too. So thanks again, my friends. This is what it looks like in the back. I'm very pleased with how it turned out. So take care, friends. And thanks again for joining me. It's always a pleasure spending time with you. I appreciate you all very much. Please show me your creations in my Facebook group. Um, and if you post in any of the crochet groups, please tag me. Hopefully I'll see it there as well. So take care. Have a very blessed day.